Despite the move towards the adoption of regtech, fintech and AI, skilled and committed professionals remain crucial to overseeing and mitigating compliance risk. But how do firms attract the best young talent and encourage professional development and lifelong learning? Here's Vanessa Cudderford. In the rapidly changing field of compliance, it's vital for professionals from all industries to keep up to date. Mark Lemison works in compliance in mobile finance. His job has changed immeasurably in the past decade. Things change very, very rapidly. If, if I think back um, 10 years, there, was, there wasn't really much uh, anything about mobile financial services, and we've grown very rapidly over the last 10 years to be, in some cases, uh, part of critical national infrastructure in, in some of the markets. He knows the only way to keep up with changes is to keep up his training. I'm very proud of my ICA qualification. I have it at the top of my resume. They're wonderful courses. They're wonderfully engaging. Uh, the people that deliver it are, are invariably practitioners, so they can go off on um, tangents and, and tailor it to the needs that you have. And it's very engaging and very informative. And it, and it gives you the, the confidence and the knowledge that you can do your role uh, competently and, and effectively. They're also academically rigorous, backed by the University of Manchester. Training takes place in person and online in the form of webinars and Q&As. ICA qualifications are a marker of quality and professionalism around the world, so much so that large companies are now working with the ICA to provide in-house training tailored to that organisation's need so that they can meet their own compliance goals. EY has chosen to do just that. As one of the so-called Big Four accounting firms, its more than 200,000 employees offer professional services around the world. The in-house training option has uh, been used in our managed services centre and uh, the managed services centre is really uh, known for providing high quality operational delivery to our clients and uh, training is a key part of that. So over 70% of our staff have been undertaking an ICA qualification and the in-house option means that we can train large numbers of people in a very cost-effective way. A career in compliance is a varied one. Regulations differ around the world and across sectors. It makes membership of a community like the ICA all the more valuable. There really is a very strong sense of community and that's really the way that, uh, that the industry operates. The ICA probably plays a key role in this really through its um, support for people who've done the qualifications, whether that's through the website, um, access to uh, CPD opportunities, as well as just further events and conferences. When I talk to our staff about their experiences on the ICA training, they talk about uh, not only the technical expertise they've picked up and the way that the course operates, but really the networking and the fact that they then get to keep their knowledge up to date as a professional member of the uh, association. And that knowledge may need to become even more specialised in the future. Justin Hunt studies changes in technology and the effects they have on organisations. There is some really difficult technologies coming through, particularly like artificial intelligence. And I think that organisations will need to invest in specialists in these kinds of areas, which are going to have significant impacts not only on the kind of services that are provided, but also will have a wider impact on society. So there's some very important decisions that compliance people will be involved in. These changes make compliance a fascinating field on the front line of new ways of working and new ways of thinking. In the future, more than ever, compliance people will be shaping the way their companies and all of us operate.